This dragon boat team are not only adept in the water, but also in the air. They are Singapore Airlines cabin crew, and dragon boating is one of several extracurricular activities that they can join outside of flying. Hi, I'm Tasha. I'm a member of the Air Crew Dragon Boat Club in Singapore Airlines. So actually, I was first introduced to dragon boat by a friend. And born and raised in Jakarta, we do not have this kind of sport. And then when I first joined, after my first training, I was totally hooked on this sport because it was fun. It was high intensity. Singapore girls are famous with their um, immaculate makeup and hairdo. But out here in the water, we pedal, rain or shine, and we don't even care if our hair is such a mess. I think I started um, like six, seven years ago. So ever since then, and I just tried to um, join the training every month. I'm David. I'm the coach for SIA Dragon Boat Team. I have been coaching since the club started uh, in 2005. This is a low impact sport. You don't get much injury. So it's very suitable for cabin crew to improve on their physical fitness, their overall self-confidence, and more importantly, teamwork. The team usually trains about once a month, but they have been on a two and a half year hiatus since the pandemic until now. What we did today was uh, first start off with some uh, warm-up rowing. The starting row, there is a, a power start for a race. We need to kickstart the boat to get into momentum. And then after that, we have uh, two sets of endurance rowing. That's one kilometers each. We do focus on physical fitness, definitely, uh, skill sets training, but more importantly, the discipline and the mental endurance. I think the most challenging part is to keep up with the fast pace of the paddling for a prolonged period of time. When you're not doing the training, we have to um, work out by ourselves so that we can keep up with them. So outside of um, work, I do boxing, I do my own HIIT, so it's to keep up my fitness level. Having different flying schedules also prevents the team from training together as often as they would like. But this has not stopped them from entering dragon boat races both in Singapore and overseas and winning medals. I personally feel that uh, it's very rewarding for me. Every day when I go home, I feel that the team is improving. As long as they are disciplined and keep growing, that's our goal. I think I've learned a lot from Dragon Boat ECA because it taught me to persevere, to push my boundaries, to always uh, be self-driven. On top of that, I gained some friendships along the way, which is truly valuable to me.